Hi, this is uh, Professor Paul Knopfler uh, here at UC Davis School of Medicine. I'm a cell biology researcher. I work on both stem cells and cancer. And my lab mainly does um, what we call wet lab research. We're in there with um, pipetters, these things that measure uh, small volumes, test tubes, or cells. But at the same time, um, as I've been here a professor at UC Davis for more than 14 years, I've also been trying to work on, um, with a little bit of time, on more of the stem cell policy and ethics kind of area. And this has involved um, tracking what we call unproven stem cell clinics. They're, they're selling not really ready for prime time uh, stem cell therapies uh, for the most part. And because of this, and because I've run this, this website called The Niche, I've been getting a lot of questions from patients over the years about stem cell treatments, stem cell therapies. And one of the most common ones is how much do stem cell therapies cost? And this is, been an important issue, right? Patients are not only uh, at risk from getting injections with unknown stem cell kind of uh, factors, PRP, exosomes, other things. But at the same time, this could be a really big waste of money. So over the years, I've done some research on stem cell uh, therapy cost, and that's the focus of today's video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys and uh, go through uh, some of this with you. So here's what my site, The Niche, looks like, first of all. And it's kind of undergone a major revamp in the last month or so. So now you can see we not only have the blog, we have many different resource pages uh, for patients, for scientists, their stem cell videos like this one. And so I'm really focusing, uh, as I said today, on this post, how much does stem cell therapy cost in 2021? So one place we should start is by noting that uh, this video is not so much about established uh, stem cell type of therapies. And by this, I mean like bone marrow transplantation, cord blood used for blood cancers, kind of like cord blood used in the place of bone marrow uh, stem cells. Those things are generally covered by insurance. Those are established, there's data there. But instead today's video is really more focused on what's being offered kind of more, I would say like on the open market in a direct to consumer kind of fashion by, by clinics. So here's this post, and you can see by these, this table of contents here, there's a lot going on here, but I'm gonna to try to make this very understandable, concrete, um, and, and really just kind of get to the point on a lot of things. So as I was saying, um, bone marrow transplantation, cord blood used in the place of bone marrow, those kinds of things are generally covered by insurance. What's offered by stem cell clinics is not. And so what this means is that all the cost pretty much goes to the patients, patient's family. Um, one of the things we've seen a lot in recent years is that patients have turned to online fundraising like GoFundMe uh, because they don't have enough money. The clinics are really you know, demanding these high prices and the patients just don't have the, the money to pay for that. And so they'll turn to online fundraising which opens up another can of worms because oftentimes patients, um, they feel like they need to sort of tell their story on uh, like GoFundMe and this can kind of be an invasion of privacy for themselves, right? Um, so in terms of um, the cost, here's a graph of uh, data I collected. You can see here, uh, this was uh, uh, last year. And you can see the most common price paid was between 10 and $20,000 uh, for a stem cell treatment. The second most often was between 2,500 and 5,000. And then there are a range of other prices. So the general, uh, there are a couple of sort of take home messages from this. One is that um, there's a real wide range of costs, right? Some people are paying like one in 16 people or so are paying a hundred thousand or more per stem cell treatment. That's huge, right? Uh, other people have said they, they got for free or for whatever reason or paid uh, less than $2,500. Uh, what this all sort of can be boiled down to is that there's a wide range, but a the average is probably around about $10,000 right now. You can see that uh, I did uh, more polling here because there's another thing, just kind of common sense wise, another factor that's really important. And that is that if you're paying, let's say $10,000 or let's go lower, let's say $5,000 for a stem cell injection for arthritis in your knee or a back problem or um, any of a, you know, many other things, um, that $5,000 is for one injection, right? So if you go back four times, then that the real price tag there is gonna be $20,000. So I also did polling on how many stem cell treatments people have received. 
And, you know, again, most people, it's one, um, quite a few people, maybe up to 10, some people up to 20, and then some people well beyond 20. So, you know, you have to keep this in mind, uh, even if you're only, quote unquote, only paying 5000 or only $10,000. Um, these things can get really expensive over a period of months or years. Sometimes the clinics, to try to sort of make patients, I think, relax a little bit more about this issue, will offer discounts on your second or third kind of treatment, but still uh, the numbers can really add up. And again, uh, insurance is not going to help you out with that. So in terms of this question, why do stem cells cost so much? You know, first of all, we already talked, insurance doesn't really cover it. I think uh, another thing is just that stem cells, there's a lot of buzz around that, that sort of idea of stem cells being helpful. And these clinics are uh, kind of capitalizing on that. Um, the actual real cost to the clinic to make these stem cell, um, you know, injections, if you will, uh, and, or to buy them from a third party and then to inject them is actually pretty low. So there's a pretty hefty profit margin here. I've been collecting data on the price of stem cells for a number of years. And again, this is not perfect, you know, kind of uh, data in the sense that I'm just asking people to self-report what they've paid. But I think it gives you a general idea. And the polling from 2019, so if we go back a little bit further, uh, it seems like the price was a little bit lower. So perhaps not surprisingly, things have gone up. There are a lot of other things out there in the stem cell world that people are paying a lot of money for. And these include um, just stem cell pills like supplements. Uh, to me, these seem basically like waste, uh, entire, you know, totally a waste of money. So I, I don't think uh, it makes a lot of sense to spend $100 for you know, a bottle of what's supposedly some kind of stem cell supplement that's basically like a milkshake or just a bottle of water. Um, regulators have taken note of a lot of marketing for stem cells. So the FTC, the FDA are out there. Um, we already talked about uh, insurance. We talked about patient fundraising. So looking ahead, maybe to kind of wrap things up, um, you know, will costs go down? Like I said, looking at older data, costs seems to have actually gone up a bit um, in 2020 and now in 2021. It's, it's more complicated, right, because of the pandemic. But I'd expect, uh, generally speaking, that the costs are probably going to go up. It's possible for some things, if there's more competition, you know, there are hundreds of these clinics all around just in the U.S. If they're really strongly competing with each other, that can drive costs down but probably uh, the costs are going to go up. So here are just some references for you. If you wanna find other resources, you can also check these out by going to my site, The Niche, which is just ipscell.com. So thanks again for tuning in. This is uh, again, Paul Knopfler here at UC Davis, and I hope you find this video useful. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions, you can also find my contact information on the niche site and you can reach out and I try my best to respond as best as I can. So I hope that was helpful on stem cell costs and I'll see you next time.